What's up you guys, it's Adana, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do this little real talk for you guys again. You know, I'm feeling like really transparent and I wanna kind of be transparent with y'all. If you're new to my channel, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I typically do healthcare related content that is educational, inspirational, and you know, has information for you guys. So please look at that. Um, and then, you know, kind of stay a while, join me on this journey. But I wanted to talk today about, you know, just real talk, y'all. I'm tired, right? I am so tired. I know that the majority of you have seen my video about, you know, my board results and then like some of the things that I learned. And I'm going through this whole process again of like starting to study and making sure, you know, that I'm up to date on information and all of that stuff. And y'all like, for real, like, I'm tired and you know what? I don't have it all together and I am just like, I'm just tired, right? And uh, sometimes I feel like it's hard for us as, you know, like your type A personalities and then especially like PA students to kind of, you know, grasp and, you know, kind of grapple with failure and or not succeeding at something that you thought you were going to succeed at. Because like, you typically that is like, that's, that's kind of what your identity is built around, right? You know, like if you are in healthcare, if you're type A, um, if you're in medicine, you have likely been like the overachiever all of your life. You are, the, or things may have just come easy to you. And, you know, you, you knew from the get go that you wanted to be like a lawyer or a doctor or whatever it is that takes all this higher education and because of that you know like you've had yourself set on this goal and in PA school like a lot of it is it stems around like you know your board results like you know the pass rate for your program that kind of stuff and it's kind of like pumped into us like all right like if you don't pass your pants you know this is good this is gonna happen or you're gonna be in shock or whatever the case may be right and so like we are like we almost like kind of cultivate this this thing like this system of fear you know like so for me i think a lot of what i've kind of been dealing with lately is just like trying to understand that whole process and just realizing like look girl you don't got it all together and that's okay it's okay something happened it didn't you didn't want it to happen it wasn't necessarily like what you were expecting and hey like what now what you gonna do and so for me i've been kind of finding it hard ish like a little bit of hard you know at moments to stay positive positive. and i talk to you all about this all the time in terms of like staying positive like you can do this you're gonna be fine like try to motivate people like oh you got this yeah like I, and I'm I'm saying this because I legit believe it, you know. And sometimes it's easy to believe things for other people, that, and you can't really see it in yourself, or you can't really do it for yourself. Like when you're in the thick of things, when you're in this like valley or rut, you're just like, "What the f is going on?" You're like, "What's happening?" Like, <laughs> like I'm drowning here. But I think it's essential for us to stay positive in these moments of like bleakness, right? So I was reading this devotion and um, it was a Psalm and David was talking about, he was basically like feeling down. He was like, you know, God has turned his hand against me and I realized like, this is my fate. And then he remembered, ah, he remembered the moments that, you know, Christ has blessed, well, God has blessed him. I was like, yeah, like that's, that's the stuff. Like that's what I need to do. Because even in this whole process of like trying to like kind of get myself back motivated and get things back rolling and, you know, get back in my grind, it's easy for you to sit down and be like, man, like, what was me? Like, what is going on? I, I don't know what to do. I'm tired. I am tired. Okay. I'm tired of doing questions. I'm tired of studying. I'm tired right now. But it's, it's easy to kind of get into that mode and think like, man, like, this is my fate. Like, this so, like, this is where I'm at. 
and you forget like you forget about what like what where you were where you've been brought from but I'm I wanted to make this and kind of again be transparent in where I'm at right now how I'm feeling about this whole thing because I know like there are people like me out there I know some of you are feeling like the same way throughout the whatever rut or valley you all are in but remember that God has remembered you right and remember like the good times remember things that have happened well in your life and even in this process that I'm going through like I can think about things that are simultaneously happening <laughs> that are great experiences in my life like and God is seriously taking care of me and so for that I can, like I cannot sit here and wallow in this and and that's the same thing for you who may have like you know just recently failed a test like myself or may have you know not gotten into PA school or NP school or med school or whatever it got that rejection letter again or you know you didn't get the job that you wanted or you didn't get the girl the the guy that you wanted or you know the relationship that you were in has fallen apart like whatever it is that situation is that you're going through remember the past the good times to help bring you through those bad times and trust me like you we gotta like as hard as it may be we gotta stay positive in this process because that will help you get through it it will absolutely bring you up the pot like positivity not only helps you feel better like it helps you like physically as well like i promise you like <laughs> your body will feel better so please you guys take this i mean i just wanted to share that because it's been something that's kind of been weighing on me um for the past few days and i wanted to like share that with you all for those of you that may be kind of going through the same thing let's remember the good times okay i mean i don't know y'all can let me know about those times that like times that you may be having things that you may be going through and your remembrance like your moment of remembering something good that has happened or that will bring you through. Um, I really look forward to reading those. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!